Hi! This is Teacher Wen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the Tagalog version of our topic, multiplication of simple fraction and mixed number. So, kung gusto nyo matutunan ito, gamit ang Tagalog version or Tagalog na wika, just keep on watching. Okay, so ito naman po yung Tagalog version topic natin na multiplication of fractions and mixed numbers. So, madali lang yung topic natin. Meron tayong dalawang paraan, yung long method at yung short method. So, yung long method, ang gagawin nyo lang muna is i-multiply muna yung numerators. Okay, katulad nyan. So, 3 times 2 is 6. And then, over the product of the denominator. So, 9 times 3 is 27. Pagkatapos nun, saka mo siya ilo-lowest term by dividing it by the greatest common factor. Pareho sila. Ayun. So, here we have uh, 3 over 3. Kasi, ang greatest common factor nilang dalawa ay 3. So, divide mo pareho sa 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then, 27 divided by 3, we have 9. Okay? So, 2 over 9 yung sagot. Yung short method naman na sinasabi ko ay ganito. So, halimbawa, we have 3 over 9. Tapos, mamultiply natin sa 2 third. Ayan. Okay. I-divide muna natin o i-simplify muna natin siya bago pa tayo mag-multiply. So, yung iba ang tawag dito cancellation. But this is not cancellation method. This is uh, simplifying um, the fraction. Okay? Bago tayo mag-multiply uh, through division. O mag-divide muna tayo. Ang totoo, nag-divide tayo, hindi tayo nag-cancel. Okay? So, we have here now 2 over 9. Yun yung ating result. Kasi naging 1 na tong dalawa. So, 1 times 2 is 2. 9 times 1 is 9. So, dito naman tayo sa second example natin. Sa second example, meron tayong mixed number. So, kapag nagmumultiply tayo, kailangan muna natin siyang gawing improper fraction. Madali lang yon. Una, i-multiply nyo muna yung denominator dun sa whole number and i-add ang result sa 1. So, 4 times 3, we have 12. Plus 1, we have 13. Okay? And then here, we have 4. So, over 4 na natin. Then, multiply the result by 8. Ayan, yung whole number natin dito. So, simple lang gagawin natin. May dalawa kayong choice. Pwede mong i-multiply si 13 kay 8, tapos saka mo i-divide, or mag-divide ka muna bago ka mag-multiply. So, dito pipiling ko mag-divide muna, kasi 8 is divisible by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, 13 times 2 is 26. Okay, so ang result natin is 26. Para naman sa ating third example, ang gagawin natin ay ganun pa rin. Kung mixed number yan, gawin mo improper fraction. So, 3 times 1, we have 3. Plus 2, we have 5. Okay? And then, copy the denominator 3. So, dito, ayan, 2 times 2, we have 4. Plus 1, we have 5. So, we have here 5 over 2 naman. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala kang madidivide dyan. Nakasimplify na kasi sila lahat. Or... Ayun, hindi mo na siya masisimplify pa kasi simplest form na siya. So, go ka na lang dun sa long method. Multiply mo muna yung numerator sa numerator. So, 5 times 5 is 25. And then, 3 times 2 is 6. So, ang susunod mo naman gagawin dyan ay gawin mo siyang mix numbers. Okay, so kung imimix mo siya, ang gagawin mo lang, okay, yung numerator, i-divide mo dun sa denominator. So, we have here 25 divided by 6. And ang answer natin dyan ay... 4. Kasi 4 times 6 is 24. So, meron pa tayong remainder na 1. So, sa makatuwid, um, uh, mixed form itong 25 over 6 is 4 and 1 over 6. Salamat sa panonood ng match tutorial video na ito. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe sa aking channel para lagi kayong ma-notify every time na may upload ako. Hanggang sa muli! Bye!